When you're watching the Olympics on television, you might think to yourself, these triple jumps look effortless. I don't think this is very hard. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it's tremendously difficult and it takes years and years of practice training to get your body into the most efficient air position so that it can rotate three or four times in the air and then land on that little edge. And every skater has had to pay their dues no matter what. But today, skaters are learning a lot more about their brains and about how to train smart. A lot of the research at Columbia Zuckerman Institute is dedicated to understand how the brain rewires to learn. And a lot of us study how that rewiring permits us to do complex movements. For example, how a figure skater learns how to skate until the level where they are an expert. When I see a figure skater uh, executing a daring move, pitching themselves backwards, I'm amazed as a neuroscientist because what I think of is how is the figure skater able to prevent themselves from pitching forward? So when you or I slip on ice, we fall backwards and we immediately pitch ourselves forward. This is because of automatic, hardwired reflexes. When you're first learning a jump, whether it's an axle, a double axle, or a triple axle, you have to fight the urge to save yourself from this incredible force that you are putting into the air. So what a figure skater somehow learns to do is to suppress those reflexes. And we believe what's happening when a figure skater practices their daring moves over and over again is that they're rewiring circuits in a region of the brain called the cerebellum. It's at the base of the brain. Every time the figure skater practices their move, pitches themselves backward, connections in the brain are changing such that the activity of neurons in the cerebellum becomes weaker and weaker, and these reflexes, these vital protective reflexes, are gradually suppressed. And this is what allows them to do what you or I couldn't to execute these daring moves. Learning to control our reflexes is just a part of what is needed to learn to figure skate. Another very important component is to learn how to link all these individual elements together. For example, how you link a jump to a spin to make a complex routine. The brain stores every individual movement separately in isolation in different brain areas. Now, as you learn to figure skate, you need to form complex routines. And these amazing routines come together by gluing the individual pieces. The basal ganglia, an area that is in the middle of the brain, connects to all these other brain areas that have the individual pieces. And rewiring of this brain area allows you to form now a complex sequence of movements. And this complex sequence, this routine, can now be performed effortlessly naturally without thinking. As you're setting up a jump, you cannot be thinking consciously about every single aspect of the jump. You've usually gotten it down to a key word and all you can say to yourself is top or quad or arms. You cannot be thinking about every single last thing because the rest of it has to come from this sense of automaticity, if you will. So you can see that as Olympic skaters prepare to do a very complex routine, there's a moment of quiet in which they are focusing on uploading that routine and then all of a sudden the whole thing is unleashed. So it's very cognitive and that's what we admire. <laughs>